Happy anniversary, Johnny, and thank you so much for helping us set up the, the Five Past Eight shows at the Tron when I was artistic director there. I know that you and Hamish um, conspired together to make those, those shows successful, and certainly they were incredibly important to me in terms of my understanding of the relationship that's possible between the stage and the auditorium. Um, the whole Scottish variety scene has come with me to London and Stratford at, at, the, at the RSC. Um, thank you also for your beautiful daughters. Um, Louise is a great loss to show business and fortunately Maureen hasn't been a great loss to me. Thank you very much and again congratulations on your 60th anniversary. Great to be speaking to you and I hope you remember me and I believe it's your 60th anniversary in show business so great congratulations. It's lovely to talk. Um, I wonder if you remember that time, the first time we met, when we, I was uh, rehearsing at King Lear and your daughter, Maureen, was playing Cordelia in it. We did quite a lot of open workshops on the play and this day we were doing a workshop on the scenes between King Lear and the Fool and you came into the workshop and it was so great to have you and we were looking at the rhythms in the writing of the play and how the rhythm uh, the fool speaks in a rhythm which has comedy which makes us laugh and finally I asked you if you would like to read the fool and what was so extraordinary was that when we started working on the scenes between the fool and Lear it came, it, you realised that the rhythms that the fool uses in his speeches to get a laugh, to make Lear laugh, to make him smile, uh, were the same rhythms that you use today in your uh, shows to get a laugh out of your audience. Johnny, it's really lovely to be talking to you. It brings back quite a few memories for me. And I just wish I could be at your celebration, uh, but I hope it's absolutely great and that you enjoy it. And hopefully, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Johnny, this is one of my great disappointments. I'm not here with you tonight because this is a special night, a special tribute to a special person and a great career. Unfortunately, I'm off to the States and some family business. But... I'm always proud and pleased to see someone from the Govan Parish doing so well in life. I know you're from a different century from me, but dinosaurs live on, and you've done it well. Johnny, have a great night tonight. There's a career which has spanned so long that, that has brought pleasure and entertainment to so many people in the whole of Scotland, and particularly to Glasgow. Have a great night. This is well deserved. This is a tribute from the people who have been around you for so long, your family and your friends from the theatre, your fellow artists. It's a great night for you. I wish I was there, but don't let that stop you from having a really good night. All the best, Johnny. Hello, Johnny, and hello, rows of toffs at the Citizens Theatre. What you're doing there to celebrate that wee nyaf just it defies gravity, never mind logic. Do you know he used to work in the shipyards? He's a working class person. Just watch your back and watch your pockets, especially. Him and that John Mulvaney were not to be trusted around a dressing room. Which is why I'm talking here. <laughs> that was the attraction for me with Johnny Beery. Johnny Beery has got that Glasgow thing. He's got the wee Ned thing. And he has, he has a walk that I've been jealous of all of my professional life. I can't copy it. I tried once. It's uh, he walks and, and bounces at the same time with his bum sticking out. And to see it in a kilt is something to be... <laughs> How you lasted 60 years done up like that, I'll, <laughs> I'll never know. <laughs> but Johnny, from the bottom of my heart, or the heart of my bottom, I don't know what I'm talking through. You, you were a profound influence on me. Because you were the real one. 
You know, there was, there was never a show business in Shinye. Although you are superb at your job and stagecraft, and especially at playing women, which is always a bit dodgy and leaves a question mark above us all, you, you represent a Glasgow guy that I could really identify you with. And you were very, very kind to me very, very early in my career when I came to your house and asked, could I write stuff for you? I, I really, I really genuinely thought I could, I could create stuff for you. In the end, I couldn't. But I gave you a joke, I can't remember. It was some, the punchline was you've got three minutes to get out. And I saw you doing it at a, a nightclub near George Square, which doesn't exist anymore. But Johnny, you've been a profound influence on in me and many, many others, a great many more than you imagine yourself. And your work at, for the Air Gaiety is outstanding. I did a gig once for 10CC, the rock band. They were filming me doing a, to, to do an inset in a, in a pantomime, and they're very good at all that electronic stuff. And the, the, the lead guy says, do you know a guy called Johnny Beatty? And I said, yeah. He said, very good, isn't he? And I said, yeah. He said, I didn't think there was comedians still like that in the world. He had been in air and went to the gaiety and saw you. And he didn't know that kind of thing existed. It's a thing I'm immensely proud of in Scotland that the Variety Theatre still exists. And you're the king of it, man. All the rest are dead. And you're, <laughs> and you're not looking that good yourself. <laughs> Sixty years is a long, long time, Johnny. Do you don't think it's time you threw in the towel? <laughs> Stick to River City. As a matter of fact, if you want to see Johnny Beatty's walk, have a wee look at River City sometimes. You sometimes get a wee glimpse of the wee Ned walk. Another thing, time you told me when you were winching in Partick Hill Road, you that you you were you promised to take me and show me the brill cream mark on the wall of the dunny where you leant against when you were doing your wooing, and you never did it. So that's a promise you must keep to me. We'll go for a walk along Party Hill Road. As a matter of fact, we must see more of each other. We haven't seen each other in ages. One of the last times I saw you was outside a barber's in Highland Street, and I tend to avoid them. But they, Johnny, I love you, and uh, 60 years well spent and 60 years that the, the Scottish people will never get back again. <laughs> I love you.